Hey guys, Tech Flash here. So let's get right into it. Today we have the Honor 50, and if you don't know, Honor and Huawei are basically the same company. Most of the people, even at the back end, are also the same, but they just function as different companies. So just a heads up, we may get to see some similarities here that we've seen on Huawei phones. And the first thing to note here, which Honor is proudly presenting, is the 5G connectivity, which you can see is mentioned here on the box, kind of flexing on Huawei a little bit, no? Anyways, this this device comes with 8 gigs of RAM and we have the 256 gig variant today in the green emerald color which should be very interesting to see. Opening up the box the first thing as usual is the booklet, the sim ejector pin and also this clear silicone case which may look a bit familiar to you guys and that is because if you notice the camera cutout is similar to what we saw on the Huawei P50 series. Reason as to why Honor and Huawei phones are very similar is because these two companies were working under one ownership and obviously with that you can expect them to share some designs and components with each other removing the plastic cover and you can immediately tell that this almost has the exact shape and design as the Huawei P50 series and it is actually quite a light and sleek device which has a slight curve here at the front while we wait for the phone to turn on we'll take a quick look around and coming to the back camera we get to see this double circle module the main camera here has a hundred and 8 megapixel sensor which is the one here on the top and apart from that we have a macro lens a wide angle lens and a depth sensor alongside the led flash and although this technically has a quad camera setup i don't consider the depth and macro as real cameras a ton of companies nowadays are just adding more and more cameras to get ahead of each other but in reality i would consider this to have two main functioning cameras on the bottom we have the speaker grill alongside the usb c port and the sim tray and i quickly want to take a look at the sim tray because i think this supports two sims but i want to check out if it also has space for a micro sd card because until recently huawei was giving the option of a nano memory card because that was huawei's internally built technology so i was just curious to see but no it looks like it is just a simple sim 1 and sim 2 situation digging deeper into the box we have another small surprise but first looking at the charger this device comes with the honor supercharged 66 watt fast charger which once again supercharge was something that huawei used to advertise but now we see it here with the honor charger as well we also get the usb-c cable which looks like quite a long cable but the small surprise i was talking about is that we get a pair of earphones in the box which look pretty decent and is a look alike to what you used to get with the iphones all right so now moving on to the phone itself we get to see a very vivid curved amoled display which comes with the option of a dynamic high refresh rate display which can switch between different refresh rates depending on what you're doing one very interesting thing to see here is that you get the play store right out of the box which normally isn't available on huawei devices so this is actually a pretty big deal because one of the biggest problems with these devices was that you didn't get the play store so now with the addition of 5g support it looks like things are coming back to normal for them when it comes to the processor the honor 50 comes with the snapdragon 778 chips which is quite a decent processor it's not really the best or the latest but i don't see any problems with the 778 paired with 8 gigs of ram this is a very capable device in my opinion taking a quick look at the camera we have many modes here ranging from the ultra wide to the normal 108 megapixel camera portrait mode night mode is also available on the video side of things we have a multi video mode which as you can see allows you to function both the front and the back camera so in other words this is kind of like a vlogger mode and apart from this a ton of other modes that you would get to see on huawei phones if you've ever used those in the past the os here is named the magic ui but if i'm honest this looks very similar to what we see on huawei's phones but this is based on android 11 which is good to see on the battery side of things we don't have the biggest capacity we do get a 4300 milliamp here battery but with the highly efficient 778 chip this phone should do pretty well and guys quickly jumping back to the overall design again i personally really like the way this phone looks and feels in the hands on the biometric side of things i did notice that the in display fingerprint sensor was not as fast as i've seen on other phones although the face id did make up for the lag because it is pretty quick anyways guys that is it for this video hope you enjoyed the honor 50 let me know down in the comments below if you would consider buying this phone now that it comes with android the play store and 5g connectivity drop a like if you enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you once again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out